Welcome to another lecture in our video lecture series on design of reinforced concrete structures. Before proceeding with the remaining part of our chapter 3 that is behavior of our beam under flexor, today's lecture will be related to solving a numerical of analysis of an under reinforced beam and in next lecture we will see another numerical regarding the analysis of over reinforced beam and only then after that numerical we will go to the design part of singly reinforced sections so today and next lecture will be a tutorial class and on your screen you can see a question that i have prepared you are given a rectangular beam section with a width of 250 mm and an effective depth of 350 mm the concrete grade is m30 and the steel grade is fe 250 and the amount of tensile steel reinforcement is equal to 1800 mm square now we have to calculate the ultimate moment carrying capacity of this rectangular beam section so here we have been given the total amount of reinforcement we are not concerned with how many bars are here or what are the diameter of the bar if we were given number of bars and the diameter of each bar then also we could calculate this total amount of ast but instead we are directly given the total amount of reinforcement here and another thing is we are given here effective depth the question may also give you the total depth and the effective cover and if those two things are given then you can calculate the effective depth also let me write that formula here so effective depth is total depth minus effective cover so what is effective cover then how do you find effective cover effective cover is clear cover plus diameter of bar divided by 2 we will discuss about this cover that have to be provided to the reinforced concrete sections in our discussion on serviceability for today just remember that the distance from this exposed surface to the nearest surface of our reinforcing bar that means if you consider this line that is touching all the bars at this end here then the distance from this exposed concrete surface to the nearest surface of our rebars here this is known as clear cover and in this clear cover if you add half of the diameter of these bars that means from this line to the line passing through the center of these bars if you add this half of the diameter then you will get effective cover so to find the effective depth you can subtract that effective cover from total depth but here we are directly given effective depth so we will use this value instead now let me proceed with the solution first before calculating the ultimate moment carrying capacity we have to know whether this is an under reinforced or an over reinforced section our tutorial is analysis of an under reinforced beam so you may think that this is an under reinforced beam but let us check first whether it is an under reinforced or over reinforced beam so first let us calculate the percentage of steel that is provided in this beam section pt means the percentage of steel provided is calculated by total amount of reinforcement divided by the product of width and effective depth of beam in 200 so ast is 1800 b is 250 and d is 350 into 100 so remember this percentage of tensile steel reinforcement is calculated as a percentage of this effective area not the total area of our beam since we have used that effective depth and not total depth so if you do this calculation you will get the percentage of steel reinforcement provided to be nearly equal to 2.057 percentage so this is the percentage of tensile steel reinforcement that is actually provided in our beams but what is the limiting value 
the limiting value of our steel percentage or the limiting percentage of our steel reinforcement if you remember in our previous lecture we discussed on the formula for this limiting value and for fe 250 grade steel we got the value of this pt limiting is 21.97 into the characteristic strength of concrete divided by the yield strength of the steel if you do not remember this formula you can check back our last video there we have discussed how this formula came equals to 21.97 into the grade of concrete we have used is 30 divided by the yield strength of our steel is 250 now if you do this calculation you will get 2.636 percentage now if you compare the limiting value and the value of reinforcement provided we can see that the actual value of reinforcement provided is less than the limiting value hence our beam is under reinforced So since the amount of steel provided is less than the limiting value, our beam is under reinforced. And we know that for our under reinforced beam section, the ultimate moment carrying capacity or the ultimate moment of resistance, YAMU, is given by this formula. 0.87 FY ASTD 1 minus FY AST by FCK BD. So we have all this data FY, AST, D, and B. So just substitute the value of all these symbols here 0.87 into 250 into 1800 into 350 multiplied by 1 minus 250 into 1800 over 30 into 250 into 350 so if you do this calculation you will get the value of emus 11353500 newton millimeter and if you convert it into kilonewton meter 113.535 kilonewton meter so this is our answer this is our moment of resistance of this singly reinforced or under reinforced beam here. So let us check by another method whether our assumption that or whether our determination that our beam is under reinforced is correct. So let me choose another color here. So let us check now. Okay, this is too much. Let us calculate the limiting moment of resistance based on our concrete strength or concrete compressive strength. So we, we have the formula 0 0.149 FCK BD square for the limiting value of moment of resistance. This formula also we discussed in our previous lecture. So substitute the values 30 into 250 into 350 squared. You will get this to be 136.894 kilonewton meter. So you can see that the moment of resistance due to yielding of steel is 113.535, whereas due to concrete crossing is under 36.894 so we can see that the yielding of steel governs our moment of resistance here because this is the lesser value and whenever this value or this much amount of uh, flexural moment or this much amount of moment is applied on our beam then our beam fails in that case so there is no place for our beam or there is our beam will not have capacity to develop this much ultimate moment of resistance 
so we can say that steel failure governs or controls the strength of our beam and this 113.535 kilonewton meter will be the moment of resistance of our under reinforced beam here so this numerical is complete so in our next class we will discuss about finding the moment of resistance of an over reinforced beam till then stay safe and thank you